So recently I was working on a project that had a server and I found it absolutely impossible to find any decent information on the base uh, Unity web request library. I didn't want to use a third party library, but I have to say I spent quite a few hours getting this to work. The information is just not out there on the internet. So hopefully I'll save you a few gotchas and um, I'll, I'll teach you how I implemented it. So for what is simple in just a traditional C Sharp um, project, like an ASP core or something, Unity honestly adds a, a hell of a lot of complexity to their implementation. So what I've got here is a get request. And I also thought I'd just show you a post request as well. So the uh, made and potatoes is right here. I just created a method takes the URL, it takes the request type, which I've just made a uh, an enum, and then also an optional data. So if it's post, you'll obviously include the data. So what you do is you create the web request and you put in the URL and the request type. If there's data, I am converting it to JSON with just the, the base JSON utility that Unity provides and then turning it into a byte array. And then basically the way uh, Unity web requests work is you attach an upload handler and you can also attach a download handler. And then they're the things that you reference when you want to grab the results of the, of, the, uh, of the request. So what I'm doing is I'm just attaching a new upload handler and I'm sending in the, uh, the byte array that I want to post if it is a post request. And then in the same way, I'm attaching a download handler and I'm just setting the, the return um, content type. Uh, if you need to also attach headers like an authorization header or something, you can simply, once you've got your request, you can say, um, I've created this little function down here, attach header. So I'll just say like attach header, I'd send in the request and then I'd say like authorization and then, you know, the token for the, for the authorization or, or whatever it is. I don't need that for this. Now, there are a few gotchas here. So uh, when you're deserializing the, the result from the download handler, this took me a long time to work out. So down on my to-do object, uh, traditionally I make my properties just like this and I'll have my, you know, my, my, uh, my getter and setter there. Uh, so you, you cannot have a getter and setter when, when, if you want to deserialize using the, the JSON utility that unity provides. So remove that. In addition, you need to match the type case, uh, exactly to the server. So if you're using like JSON.net in C sharp, uh, you can have capital case here. Oh, what's it called? Uh, capital case. And then even if it comes through as camel case, it will still deserialize and it will be smart enough to map the objects. But with the Unity deserializer, you need to match the, the type case exactly. All right. So here we go. We're creating the request. We're sending it off. And we're, we've got this in an IE enumerator so that we can wait for it. And then we're deserializing the result. And then in the same way, we're just creating an object to post. We are setting it as post, we're sending it, waiting for it, and then we're deserializing it. And if you follow those tips exactly, you should have your web requests um, set up and good to go. Hope this helps.